guys. Exactly. So if you were uh, following last event, you remember Hibino sustained a lot of damage. We still got eight more, so go knock yourself out. And here we go, the one the one via driven by Mano also trying to keep up to uh, Hibino right here. But here they are coming around. Oh. I'm not going to do it. Too. Oh, washing out a little bit for Mano right there. Coming into to Outer Zone 3 right here. Oh! And Man, Mono, Mono just getting really wild in the chase position from Outer Zone 1, leaving Outer Zone 2 almost washing out into the gravel pit. And yes, and he's going to adjust himself. So we'll see here. I, mean, I know Kavino wants to throw a lot of angle too, but he'll have to adjust himself to Mono's driving. And here they are. It looks like he's giving him a little bit of a gap coming into Outer Zone 1. And I'm... He's going to dial it in right here, close that proximity onto Mono. Definitely taking a shallower line than Mono did in Outer Zone 1, but how is he going to close himself up in Outer Zone 3 in the rest of the track? And here it is, finishing off the inside clip right there. Woo. And like I said, so Tetsuya Hibino gets the win and we'll be moving on to the top 16. Yeah, and he made it to top 16, so, you know, good job. I have a feeling that this is going to be a good battle. Oh, yeah. I have a he does not back down. I have a feeling it's going to be a good battle. Every every battle. And here they are right here, coming in right here. Hayashi, like I told you, is going to be very aggressive right there against Woo! Hibino. Hibino riding all the way out to the end of Outer Zone 1. And nice flick back to back and forth. Look at that. Hayashi the whole time right there on his door. Beautiful tandem battle. Look at how aggressive he's being right there against Hibino. Not getting phased by that four rotor and that smoke show he's giving him. Good Woo! job. Woo -hoo -hoo! They let go a little bit of throttle. They gap up a little bit. Exactly. He didn't get in yet. He just kind of kept on throwing. And there they are coming in right now. Hibino closing that proximity, Ooh. coming in outer zone. Hayashi trying to carry it all the way out. A little shallow in outer zone one for the lead right there. But there he is, through the touch and go, coming in outer zone one. And Hibino, oh, what's going on here? Oh, my goodness. Hayashi washes out into outer zone three and almost hits the wall. Through this touch and go, here he is transitioning through the touch and go, not carrying it all the way through that touch and go, which caused him to carry it a little bit further than he wanted in that outer zone too. But I mean, the commitment, oh, Tetsuya Hibino will get the win and move on to the grade eight. All right. Brand new car, and then once again, they're all, they're all, they're all about show. They have, now they're all about go. Look at this oh, yeah, four-rotor twin oh, turbo. Man, here they are. He's burning a lot of rubber on the street. Tom Miguel right here, but look at that. Hibino's closing it in right here in outer zone one. Tom Miguel a little deep, dipped the tire so, but Hibino's definitely got to pick it up right here, coming through the transition point into outer zone three. There he is right there, closing it in right now on Tamagawa, and Tamagawa just giving a smoke show, making Hibino fight on the chase. Like I said, Hibino loves being in the lead position right here. He likes to flick some angle, throw some smoke, and make that driver fight for that quarter panel. And here they come from outer zone one in this transition point, carrying all the way through that touch and go. Tamagawa right there, closing that proximity right here. Getting a little bit shallower line on him, but look at that, right up against his door. Tamagawa doing a beautiful job. Oh, what's going to happen right here? Look at that, carrying it all the way through. And I agree with both of them, and all three of them is going to be a one more time battle between the two. Tamagawa coming up right here. Hibino trying to close. Definitely has a better proximity coming in. Whoa. But look at that hard angle. He's kicking at Tamagawa. Tamagawa trying to carry it all the way out. A little bit short on the outer zone. I don't know. Hibino looked like he maybe did too much there in outer zone one. But here he is. He definitely has to close his proximity because we need to see a close head to head tandem battle. And man, he's just roasting tires. And Tamagawa is just doing his thing, finishing this course off. And uh, it's always been great. Definitely we'll check it out. Tamagawa definitely kind of let Hibino go on that. Let's see if Tamagawa can make up for his mistake there at the start line. But man, Hibino throwing all that smoke, making uh -oh, it hard to uh -oh. see. Uh -oh. And here we are right here, Tamagawa is making up right there on that touch and go and just saying, you know what, I need to get right on that guy's door because he is making me lost in all that smoke. And look at that, Tamagawa right there on his door. Amazing job on the finish, but definitely had to sacrifice in that touch and go region. Hibino, so Tetsuya Hibino is going to get the win and move on to the final four. Krispy Kreme here, yo. Yeah, so there you go, there's Hibino. Very chill guy. Here we are right here, Hibino is going to go ahead and do his buy run. 
Liberty Walk S15 coming around. Look at this. He's going to show it out for the fans out here and his team, Liberty Walk, right here sitting in front of us. And here he is coming through the touch and go. Look at that. Look at that awesomeness. Need I even speak for that? If he would have pulled off a run like that, I think he would have qualified for first. That I mean, position because they got one more battle going. Don't or say that. But uh, yes, you, yeah, you're probably just right saying. On. Just yeah. saying. But here they are, right here. Yamasha in the lead. Yibino in the chase. Let's see how they're gonna do it. Got the fans standing up, ready to see these two battle it out. Look at this, Yamashita coming into outer zone one. Let's see him fill all of outer zone one. And there oh. he is right there. He beat him washing out a little bit right there. Let's see if he could gain himself back. Definitely cheated himself on that touch and go, but look at that. Yamashita just laying down a solid lead run for Hibino, and Hibino struggling to keep that close proximity to him. Bino's gonna do the same and see if Yamasha can get that close proximity to him throughout this course. But here they are, could be the final run of the day. And here they are, Hibino right there, kicking that insane angle. He likes Ubu Yamasha right here, trying to close that proximity in the outer zone one. And look at that, Hibino riding that fine line all the way around, nice touch and go. Yamasha closing it in right here to outer zone three. Look at that right there. The champ himself pushing the limits of that car, coming into the inside clip and finishing really strong, taking that inside clip pylon out. And pulling off second right there with a phenomenal performance in his Liberty Walk S15, number four, Tetsuya Hibino, taking second place today and moving on. Congratulations to these two drivers.